everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. My name is Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com, the website full of tips to make your library marketing better. Before we get to today's very exciting news, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share my videos with other libraries across the country, and if you have any comments or any suggestions for the Library Marketing Show, be sure to drop them in the comments. Okay, today Pinterest has released its 2020 Advertising Guide. And I know what you're thinking, uh, libraries don't advertise on Pinterest. Yeah, I know, but this thing is full of juicy nuggets that we can use to make our marketing on Pinterest better. And if you're not marketing on Pinterest, you should be. I'll put a link in the description to a blog post I wrote, wrote not long ago talking about all the ways you can use Pinterest to market your library. But here's the first thing that I noticed in the guide. Pinterest does not want us to think of them as a social media app. They are positioning themselves as, as a discovery network. And what does that mean? It means that people normally go to social media apps to scroll through past content. But when they go to Pinterest, they are planning ahead for a purchase or to take an action. So not a social media app, a discovery network, which is interesting and a good way to think about Pinterest as you're working through what you're going to do with in library marketing on Pinterest. According to Pinterest analytics, the best pins are the ones that are visually appealing, original, positive, relevant and actionable. And actionable just means you're telling people to do something like visit your blog or check out a book or get a library card. In the guide, there is an image guide with an image. It tells you how to put together Pinterest images in the best way possible to get the most engagement. I thought that was incredibly helpful. Again, I'm gonna put a link to the guide in the description of this video. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Are you doing marketing on Pinterest? If not, why? If you are, what are you doing? And if you're in need of some ideas, I'm also gonna put a link to this great article I found that has a bunch of authors and how they're using Pinterest to do book marketing, which I think libraries can replicate. So read that article and then let me know what you plan to do on Pinterest. We do have kudos today, and it goes to the Monroe County Public Library in Bloomington, Indiana. They did a video recently, it was fun, and it looked like it was pretty easy. It was about masks being required in their building. It was positive, um, it was encouraging, it didn't shame anybody, but it just talked about the importance of masks and then did something book related and really fun to illustrate that. So check it out, the link is down in the description. If you have a suggestion for a future library marketing show topic, let me know in the comments. If you want to nominate someone for kudos, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.